Hey everybody, Daily Really here. Sorry if the subject matter is a little scattered here. I'm not doing so well, so I'm having a hard time organizing my thoughts. Um, I'm very, very, very sorry again, but I've got some bad news. In light of this, I'll be refunding patrons on Patreon that contributed this month, and you can decide if you want to reduce your support or discontinue it for now after hearing what my thoughts are for the moment, though my plans aren't finalized yet. I've been agonizing over what to do with my channel since I started my actual pseudo-vacation. As I said, I still haven't made a final decision as to whether or not I'm going to completely quit or significantly downsize and just keep to three Rain Fleurs video a week and trigger kiss every other weekend, but in any case, I'm going to at the very least finish Gizlon's route. Honestly, I was just going to totally quit, but then my mother and my sisters really want me to keep going with it even if it's part-time. So I'm going to give it a try, even though I've tried it before and it hasn't worked for me because I'm so obsessive and I just can't, I don't know, every time I try to reduce things, I just end up doing more <laughs> instead. So, uh, but I may come back to a fuller schedule again after I pay off some debt and learn a lot more Japanese, but that's going to take a while. But here's my three big reasons why I need to at least lower my schedule for now for my physical, mental, and financial health, which I'll expand on in a minute. But for now, I need to take at least two more weeks off because my health is still doing really poorly. But I do have some pre-recorded videos of Nameless and Destiny's Princess that I'll upload in the meantime. I still have two episodes left to record of Nobunaga's Route, which I will do, but I may not finish the rest of that game, or Nameless, since Nameless is pretty long. With Rain de Flora, Momoko's classes were far more work than she anticipated, so she didn't have time to do any translations, so my crash and her uh, classes actually coincided at a pretty good time. Now that her classes are just about over, though, she's going to start translating again, and she's going to take over subtitling the videos, whereas I was the one subtitling them before, so she may have her videos of Rain up before I have my versions up. I think I chose a really bad time in my life to start this endeavor, I only meant it to be a part-time thing while I worked on the dolls the other half of the time to actually make money and pay off debts and stuff, but the channel became all-consuming because I'm so obsessive and have a really hard time dividing up time. Also, I really should have learned Japanese before this, as it would have helped me in so many ways, even working with translators. Alright, so let me break down the details of my reasons a bit here. As most of you who are listening right now probably know, it costs about $400 a month to run this channel. Uh, patrons and YouTube revenues help a teensy bit, but most of the costs have been coming out of my pocket for months. I estimate I'd probably have to keep working at least as hard as I've been working for another year or so before the channel pays for itself. Even then, I'd still be working 70 plus hours a week for free, the way I've been doing. And right now I'm looking at a $600 or higher dental bill because I have to get some teeth filled soon, or they'll have to be pulled if it's not already too late. And I'm almost 40, so I've accumulated a few health problems over the years. I don't know how much I'll be incurring in medical bills over the next few weeks because my heart has been going crazy lately. I have some kind of arrhythmia where instead of my heart rate increasing and decreasing like normal people, it suddenly changes pace at the drop of a hat, just like it'll be going boom, 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 or boom, 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 boom. And the doctors say it's not serious or life-threatening or anything, but it's still unpleasant. And heart problems also run in my family. A number of my relatives have died from heart attacks, so I have to keep an eye on it. And it is at 40 after all that you have to start doing regular tests on all kinds of unpleasant things. Plus, as some of you know, I suffer from severe depression and anxiety, which are becoming a really big issue for me right now. I've been told two or three times that I sound pretty confident in my videos, but that's 100% acting. <laughs> It's the product of lots and lots of takes to try to make things sound right. Even in my audio logs, I do several takes to, you know, because I stumble on my words or don't say things right and stuff. Uh, so even with my audio logs, there's lots of editing, which is why it takes me so long to make my videos. I try to sound upbeat and bring joy to people, so I usually try to avoid talking about bad stuff like this. However, I've just been really insanely depressed over recent matters, and it appears that it's going to be a longer bout since it hasn't gotten any better yet, even after taking a little bit of time off. I'm not sure if it's the combination of depression, stress, and the lack of sleep, but my stomach's been bothering me a lot over this vacation, too. I feel sick every time I eat, no matter what or how little it is. It's really hard to read when you're both depressed and physically ill. Even now, I'm feeling anxious about recording this. 
And of course, there's this mountain of debt. Most of it was there before I started YouTube, but the channel has been plenty costly on its own and is added to it. A good chunk of the debt is some of that costly equipment that I've been using to capture my videos, and that's part of my monthly costs, because it'll take some time to get all that paid off. And adding to the stress of running the channel, Idea Factory still hasn't gotten back to me. At this point, I don't think they're going to. I've written to them four times so far, and no dice. It's really nerve-wracking to spend $400 a month and 70 hours a week for months on something that can just disappear at any moment because someone feels like harassing me, and I may not be able to get it back. But, you know, you all know that I've tried to cut back a few times on my schedule, and it, it hasn't worked out so far. My obsessive nature is just too strong, and I can't seem to half-ass things. I keep thinking, oh, I've got to do this, and I've got to do that too. But now I'm just totally overworked and exhausted and really burned out. And I'm not enjoying myself anymore. Even now, though, I still keep thinking things like, hey, maybe if I try playing other games besides Otome games or read not Otome game audiobook material, <laughs> people will come to my channel for those and discover Otome games. I've always been an artist, though, and although this is sort of an art form, I enjoy working with my hands a lot more. I really hope I inspired some people to raise the quality of their content and hope that I've helped uh, Otome games at least a little bit in my short stint on this channel so far. Like I said, I may try expanding again if I can get the doll sold off and pay off some debt and learn some Japanese myself, but for now the channel is keeping me from doing things that I really need to get done. My ultimate goal in life has been to make my own graphic novel, or illustrated novel, but after focusing on visual novels and turning them into graphic audiobooks like I've been doing, I'm considering doing that instead with my own story. I've been putting it off my whole life because I felt like I wasn't ready or that I wasn't good enough yet, but now I've let so much time go by and look how old I got before I knew it. If I don't do it soon, I won't live long enough to finish it because it's going to be a long project. And there's been so many things I wanted to try in my life and I've tried a lot of them already. And I think they all build on each other because what you learn from doing one thing is often applicable to other art forms as well in some way or another. So none of it's been a waste as far as I'm concerned. I just wish I could say my body of work was a little more cohesive. Well, I know my channel will probably go down the drain as soon as I'm not releasing so much content on a frequent, regular basis anymore. It's already dipped a lot since I took this break. So that's another hard thing to let go, but I just cannot keep up this pace at all anymore because I'm going to just... I'm working myself to death here, literally. <laughs> Oh man, and part of the reason I'm needing more time too is that I was unable to enjoy this vacation at all. <laughs> For the first week I was still working on videos trying to get ahead a bit so I could feel I had a bit of a buffer so I could relax. But then, you know, I also had to spend all that time trying to get the copyright thing resolved, which it never has and it probably won't until it just disappears in November. But then the second week I ended up trying to cram in as many video games, movies, and anime as I could which kind of took the fun out of it because I was rushing through it all. I've actually been stressing out about trying to fit in as much recreation as I could. I got to finish three and a half games, watch three anime series, and listen to a few audiobooks. But I didn't get as much sleep as I should have because I was trying to squeeze so much in. Anyway, there will be more news as the situation develops. This week and next week you'll see my backlog of Nameless and Destiny's Princess episodes that I had recorded. But probably not Rain to Flora yet, as I don't have the translations yet. Again, I'm really, really sorry for disappointing people with this. I'm still hoping to find a good voice actress or voice actor someday to be a partner channel to read the English titles that I can direct you all to. Ugh, I just cannot stop saying how sorry I am and how bad I feel about all this. And I'm going to feel even worse if I end up not being able to even handle the downsize schedule. But I hope most of you all will forgive me and not curse me out or anything. And I'm really, really grateful for those of you who have been understanding and supportive so far. I know some of you, probably a lot of you, know what it's like to be depressed and probably also to deal with anxiety. You know that you have no control over how long that lasts and it impacts like everything in your life and makes it so hard to do anything at all. So far, I mean, I had been going through this bout of depression even before I took that break I just got to a point where I couldn't handle it anymore. Well, I don't want to bum you all out any more than I already have, so I'm going to go ahead and end this. And uh, again, I'm so sorry, and I really hope that I can 
get other things done in the next couple months and hopefully I'll learn to integrate videos with working otherwise. We'll see how things go. But that's it for me for now. I hope you all have gotten off to a great start on your summers. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.